the jewelry box, isn't it? Oh. Ooh, look at that ring right there. That is a legitimate treasure chest. Ooh, what is that? We are back at the $1,000 Rich CEO storage unit. And after last time, I am so excited to get back into this one. Make sure you click the links down in the description to see the other parts if you haven't seen it yet. It was insane. And today, oh, I feel like it's gonna get better. Let's do it. If you remember last time, the master bedroom boxes is where we kept finding the jewelry, the gold, the Rolex, all that stuff. And there's a lot of master bedroom boxes, but before we can get to those, we gotta get these other things out the way over here. Just moved a box of books, but this one's not books. Let's see what's in this tote. If it's paperwork or books, I'll move it. Ooh, camo, woodland camo. You know what the first thing I think of when I see woodland camo is hunting, and hunting means firearms. But maybe that's just me. All right, so this is it looks like a bunch of Christmas decorations. It looks like a one big set, maybe. The North Pole Christmas tree. I'm not gonna take all these out, because look, all the boxes are the same. Candy car, Christmas tree, caboose, locomotive, and then you got the nativity scene. This kind of Christmas stuff, again, we'll sell it at our yard sale. We'll literally put this whole tot tote out there. I was about to call it a tout. This whole tote out there and sell everything for a buck, so that's probably $10. Another thing we kept finding last time was brand new crafting supplies, which is making me kind of excited, because this looks like it says craft room. Do they have a whole room dedicated to craft? If they are running a business, it's very likely so. So let's see what's in there. Or I'm gonna see what's in there. You don't get to. <gasps> Gosh, what a room, I surprised. You so, show us up there. Some paper, uh, let's see. Family, one of life's greatest blessings. Eh, some of them, some of them not so much. Most of them not so much. <laughs> uh, wait, these are brand new bathroom rugs, actually. They're brand new with the tags on them. Usually when you find those, they're all smelly, and you're like, why did you keep this? Yeah. It smells like, you know what? Keep the mist, the toilet. Ew, 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 you're infecting this giant thing. Hey, dolphins, Ugh. eagles, and giants. Brandon's team, <laughs> our team, the dumpster team. Yep. How sweet. Uh, what else is in here? <laughs> I like talking crap as a Giants fan because we've been like absolutely terrible for like the last decade, but it's all good. What's in here? Ew, ew, ew. What? That was on my foot. Oh, gosh. I hope you didn't step in it, did you? <laughs> I did. Oh, you gotta throw that slide away. <laughs> what is that? Makasa? A glass knot. All right, this is the kind of stuff you see in like museums nowadays. Like it's a ten million dollar sculpture. It's like it just looks like bent up piece but of wire. That's impressive. This is glass or mouth blown. All right, they. Glass knot. Okay, I'm not gonna make the joke. I'm not gonna make the joke. I'm a grown up now. We're that person has skills with their now. mouth. What? That person has skills with their mouth. <laughs> Probably oh. a dude. <laughs> Cut. First tape box, let's slice this one open and see what we have inside. Oh, I see a lot of books, a lot, a lot of books. And what are these all? Oh, cookbooks. So you know what? They look more modern. I think it's more so the vintage ones that people are after. But you know what? That could be worth a little something. More than likely, I'll just set it out the R sale though. Unless you guys think we should have a cookbook lot. If so, let us know in the comments. Underneath those book boxes, we have this poor tote, which is now kind of crushed. Let's see, paper. Ooh, a small flat rate box that's sealed. That's caught my interest. Let's cut this one open and see what's in there. What do you think it is? Uh, I don't know, what's your guess? Because uh, you always ask me and them, and yeah. you never answer. Because I have lots of guesses in my head. Well, go ahead, what's your guess? I don't know. See, now when you're put on the don't spot, put me on the spot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, more of these battery things. We found like, 10 of these things with nine volt batteries the other day when we were here. So I don't really, still don't know what they're for. A little pot. All right. I just think they're for like extra batteries for whatever medical things. Yeah, I'm assuming so too. What's up? What's at the bottom here? Some flowers. Lots of flowers. Put this back here. Move it from this side. What is this guy? Uh, punch board. All right. And over here we have more flowers. It's literally a whole tote full of those flowers, probably used for crafting. Last tote from this side, and then we can start getting into the boxes. This one is so smashed. Maybe next time you move, put the heavy stuff on top, or at the bottom I meant. Uh, Jello Halloween kit, when do you think that expired? Uh, two years ago. I don't see a date on it. I'm sure it's expired though. 
Mm. No. What do you think that's been used ah. on? Ah! Huh? Do you think this has got former owner duty on it? That's a Dollar Tree plunger. Oh, well, they, <laughs> they say Dollar Tree glasses are wrapped up, so. What is this thing? Looks like medical, medical stuff so. down there, doesn't it? Yeah. It's probably gonna be like a, I'm gonna guess one of those breathing machines. Res med. Mm, it's like a CPAP machine, it looks like. Okay. Weird fact I've learned buying storage units. It's illegal to sell CPAP and VPAP machines on eBay or directly to somebody because they don't have a license and you can't sell it to somebody without a prescription. But it is perfectly legal to sell to somebody with a license and there are websites that have the medical license that allows you to sell it to them. Then they then sell it to somebody else. It's kind of a weird system, but that's the only way to legally sell these things. VPAP. What's the difference between a VPAP and a CPAP? I don't know, because there's also a BiPAP. Okay, I have no idea about any of this that stuff. That I've heard of, I don't know. Whoa, look at this, a ball. Yeah. Feel it, it's weirdly heavy. Uh -oh. It's thought not as heavy as I thought. <laughs> I thought it was like rubber when I went to pick it up. Yeah, all the rest of this tote is full with medical supplies, so now we can start getting to the actual boxes. Look at that, master bedroom. There's another one I just saw it. I don't know where it went. This is what I really want to see. What's in the jewelry box? That's what's really bothering me. So we just moved one box because it was just pantry. There was sugar and flour in it. Man, this one says office. They've been in a lot of paperwork, but listen to that rattle. It doesn't sound like paperwork to me. So let's open this box up and see what it is. And it looks like it's definitely not paperwork, but it might just be office supplies. I don't know. Or it could be all the money the office made. No, lots of paperwork. Uh, it's totes. Ew, what are those? <laughs> Perfect smile veneers. Uh, I thought they were just teeth. <laughs> Pretty much are. Okay. Well, it's just totes with paperwork instead of the paperwork just being in the box. Oh, okay. uh, there's some crafting stuff down here. Look at this. There's a bunch of jewels. Ring sizer we just You know, bought. ever since we bought one, this is the third one we found. <laughs> three years of doing this, never found a ring sizer. Buy one off Amazon, found three in the last two months. Yep. How it works. Look down here, there's a bunch of crafting supplies. More beads, like metal rings, some more crafting beads. There's quite a lot in here. Yep. And a whole bunch of beads. So, you know, we're definitely, definitely for our crafters. You got, every time we have crafting lots, you guys are always happy. So next time we have an auction, we'll definitely have quite a bit of crafting stuff available. Because I love you so much, I got you a choice between two gifts. You can choose which one you'd rather have. Okay. A human foot, a severed foot, or more popular, a severed human head. I'll take the head because I don't like feet. Yeah, feet are kind of gross, but you know, this one has the blood coming out of it and everything. Yeah, but you know what? It is September, Halloween's in a month. That's drink and a food. This looks like if you ever played Fallout when you use vats and you shoot in the head and the head flies off. It's like <laughs> Just like that. It's like perfect. Yeah. This is what I meant to point out earlier. Look, master bedroom, master bedroom, and of course that master bedroom, and the jewelry one. And we're almost there. Let's get this out. Why does this say pie to me? Because I'm, I do math, right? <laughs> Doesn't it look like pie? pie. It's kinda. All right, let's see what's in there. What do you think? Is it, light? You? Is it what? Is it light? It's like in the middle. Um, receipts. But these are the random like kinds of boxes that we found the gold in last time, the watches. So we gotta check these. Jeez, are these cake tins? That is a big tin. That's a me time cake, <laughs> me size cake, that time. I don't know what this goes to, top to something, maybe a basket. It's a tray. It's a tray? Yeah. Looks like a top to a basket. A dirt devil. This probably goes to a shelf somewhere. Here's a dirt devil, what's this? Is this another camera? Let's see, yes it is, nice. It looks old too. This one's the Yashica? MC1. Look this camera up on eBay and it seems to be selling consistently for over 30 bucks, so not bad for an old camera. MC squared. That would have been funny if I found an MC squared camera inside of the Pi box. Yeah. Microsoft Home and Students. You guys know when I was in high school, I was professionally certified in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all of them, and expertly certified in Excel. I was a smart guy <laughs> when it came to computers. Everything else, not so much. And yeah, that's a dirt devil. So I just moved one box to set it closed. We got another one that says office, but again, it doesn't feel or sound like paperwork. So we're gonna cut it open and see. As long as it, ooh, I see a video game case. I like this office here. I see something. Ooh, yeah, look. Well, it's just Tiger Woods. 
but it's in there complete with the manual that's a good sign resident evil 5 that's a good stuff open no manual but the disc is in there then we have it looks like one of those things that you used to like find like 7-eleven treasure hunt as they call it uh look hanging shelf organizer you like those right yeah you want some hair no. <laughs> <laughs> what is this oh look at that oh, one two three for four five six seven phones right there just like smartphones flip phones will sell in lots too and to be honest i don't know what people do with them but they buy them uh just some random stuff here Let's see what's underneath all this. What is this big thing? A computer? A Dell. It looks old though. Yeah, it's definitely. It's got Windows Vista on it. This old monster here. Old school. Let's see what's underneath it, if anything. A red purse. It's definitely not empty. I think I see the monitor. What's in the purse though? Clothes, hats, scarf. Not too exciting. Down there, I'm assuming that's the monitor to the CPU we just pulled out. And the rest of it, I think it's just clothes used to pad it. What's this? What's in here? Mm -hmm. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, it's beanie shoes. Like, feel it. It feels like a beanie baby. So usually, usually you can heat these up. Oh, okay. Put your feet in there. Shows how much I know. Anything else down here? No, the rest of it is just padding for the monitor. Now! We should be able to get into one of the master bedroom boxes. Now we can get into the master bedroom boxes, which yesterday, the first day, they were all crappy medical supplies. The second day, we were finding jewelry. We found like 40 watches, a Rolex, $200 gold ring, all kinds of stuff. So you know what? Let's hope they continue like they did yesterday. But before I open it, make sure you take two seconds and leave this video a thumbs up to help us out a super ton and just motivate us to keep coming back. We're dropping them daily again. I know you guys like that. And give it a share, please. It helps us a lot. That really, really significantly helps us a lot. Let's see what's in this master bedroom box right here. Ooh, I see random. I see random. Well, this is a tablet box, unfortunately. Ooh, that doesn't feel like a box. The RCA 7 Voyager, that feels like it's in there. If it's not, then it's a heavy manual, let me tell you. Um, come out. Come out, come out. Nope, no manual. Bang! There's the tablet, right there. That's awesome. That's a good start. Is this another one? Oop, that's not empty either. We might have two tablets. Is this a tablet? I don't know what that is exactly. Uh, no idea. But we're going to open it up and see if it's in there. It feels like it is. Let's see. Oop, another box in a box. And open. Yep, there it is. Whatever it is, it's right there. It's in there. We'll have to figure out what it is exactly, but at least we know we have it. It was actually just a miniature tablet that still sells for about 30 bucks. So again, not bad. Hopefully it's worth something. This little tote, these are just empty. You know, that's it. Why do they keep these hangers? Yeah. Maybe Ooh, to hang jewelry on. Look what I see. Samsung Galaxy S6, but it's empty. See, like Samsung's, I can tell by their box right off the bat because you could tell the weight. The Apple boxes are like just as heavy as the phone. So when you pick them up, I'm like, is it empty? I don't know. Whoa, man. This one, possibly. This one, I don't think so. Let's open this one up. Oh, is that it? No, that's a screen cover. No, nope, not in there. Dang it. This one, there's no way it's in there. This one's right here, super, super light. But that doesn't mean it's not somewhere else in the unit. We found a camera box in the first part and then found the actual camera that goes to it in the second. So, ooh, I see jewelry. What's in this thing first off? Just bathroom stuff, it looks like. Makeup. makeup. Yeah, a bunch of makeup and things. Ooh, what's that? That's a jewelry box, isn't it? Oh no, it's a makeup box. What a troll. What a troll. But should've known better, it's all makeup in here. This one here, on the other hand. Earring, it says on the side. Does it? Yeah. Well, we found one pair already that was gold. Stay for a second. Let me make sure there's nothing else in here before we open that up. Like this bag, it's empty. And you got a cup full of brushes. So yeah, let's see what's in the tote. Hopefully something cool. Seven bucks price tag on these. These are just costume, they're not real gold. Let's see how to get in there. Oh yeah, look at all that. There's another watch too. Right here, let's look at the watch. What brand is this one here? It says Vanity Fair on it. 
All right, it's got a little necklace stuck to it with a key. I said it before and I'll say it again. Usually the thinner necklaces have a better chance of actually being gold than like the big thick ones are usually fake. I mean, you can find a real big thick one, but not very likely. This is not marked though, but we'll test it for sure. These earrings are marked Avon. I don't know if Avon sells real gold. You guys let me know if you know. But look, there's just a bunch of earrings in here that we'll have to individually test once we get them home. Because yeah, we'll run a magnet over them and anything that doesn't stick to the magnet, we can go ahead and acid test it and see if we have any real gold in there. So we took them home and ran the magnet over all these earrings. Quite a few of them did stick, but there were actually quite a few pairs of earrings that did not stick. Now, some of them were just plastic, so obviously they're not metal. They're not going to be magnetic, but there were a few earrings in here that were very small that ended up being 10 karat gold, and there were a few that were gold plated. So overall, this little box, just in gold weight and stuff, is worth at least, you know, $50, $60, including the gold, and then also selling the costume too, so not bad. Under this. That's a whole other story. It's just more of the same actually, more earrings. Yeah, these are packs of earrings, like inside of a sock for some reason. I could tell you by feeling it, they're just packs of earrings. But like stuff like that, never know what'll be gold in here just by looking at it. But we'll definitely magnet test it. Got now the second master bedroom box that was down there. Let's see if we can get some gold in this one. But then we might have gold in the other one, I don't know. But something that's like obviously gold or marks. Hope you guys can hear that construction going on in the background too bad. If you do, I'm sorry. Oh, I like where this is going already. I really do. Bracelet. First, let's look in there. Yeah, look at this. Full of bracelets. Socks full of bracelets. Oh yeah, they're all marked. Most of them have a tag on them still. They're definitely like costume, but that's okay. Costume jewelry still sells. Not everybody wants to pay for gold. Let's see, what's in, oh my goodness, look at all the boxes in here. What's in there? Okay, let's open this one first, this one first. You ready? Mm-hmm. Let's see, ooh. Ooh, look at that ring right there. Look at the front of that, you see it? Yep. What a beauty, does it have a marking in it? It sure does, but I can't read it. It's a mark 925. No. Maybe it's silver, gold plated. That's Maybe. my assumption. But still, that's cool. There's another ring in here. That's gonna be like one of those mood rings, I think. But yeah, I'm assuming that's gonna be silver gold plated. Still cool, still cool. This one, it has drawers, huh? And just a bunch of, what's in there? You see that old red bag? Yep. What is that? It's empty. Well, that's a troll. <laughs> Let's set that up here too. Is that underwear? Possibly, yes. Yeah. Great. Look in here, there's just like a bunch of these watches again. No. These are like what? Watch brooches? They clips look like brooches. Different clips. Things. Yeah, brooches and clips. We're gonna set them here. Here, you wanna scrub yourself? Or somebody no. else's loop? No. Uh -huh. This is an organizer for purses. That's one we don't need. This has more jewelry in it. Let's see. Bunch of rocks and fashion jewelry which again we'll lot up and sell but obviously we're looking to find the gold because it's worth significantly more but still a bunch of costume jewelry there that'll be lotted up in one of our auctions for sure we'll have quite a few we're just, this unit's gonna produce like a whole auction on its own maybe two and let's see what this is down here what does that say sets. jewelry sets so like we said in the last part these people did own a business selling jewelry online costume and gold so it's not surprising that we're finding so much jewelry in here at all but that's definitely cool let's set it aside but I want to see what's in this wooden box oh I see a jewelry jewelry box down there we'll get to that in a second you think these shoes are actually in here yeah it's full of jewelry oh look they're like new almost have they been worn I don't think they've been worn brand new shoes that's what's up all right set that over here now this is definitely something I'm interested in. It's like a cigar box again. It's really light though, so I don't know if there's anything in it. Nothing. Well, it's still a cool old wooden cigar box. The wooden ones are cool. This, let's see. How do I get into it without destroying it? That's the question. It's that, what's it called you put in your bath? Epsom salt. 
Epsom salt. All right, look what I see at the bottom. You see it too? Yes. Ooh, yeah. First, Down there. cut this open. Oh, All right. Now, this. Ooh, that is what we come for. That is a legitimate treasure chest. Oh, what do you think's in there? Jewelry. Yes, jewelry. But is this gold jewelry? I don't know. Well, look at these rings. Let's just pick a ring at random. This one. Is it marked? No. I was hoping like this would be all for their real jewelry, maybe. That's a nice ring there. Is this guy marked? It's marked Avon. Again, I don't know if they sell real gold or if they only sell costume jewelry. What about what's in our little black bag? Ow. Little black bag here. I'm trying I need someone to set this. <laughs> Running out of space. Alright. Set it right here for a second. In the little black bag is ooh, a rope necklace. The fact that it's in here probably means it's not real. I would assume, but a lot of ropes can be real. No marking on it. Again, it'll be tested when we get it home. That's it. Now let's see what's underneath here. What's that? A little box inside the jewelry box? That's because this is a $1,000 24 karat gold bracelet, right? No, not so much. <laughs> but still, a bunch of what appears to be costume jewelry. Maybe once we're able to test it, maybe there'll be some real gold in there. Who knows? So just got this box down from the top up there. Now I can see what looks like a nice dishware set too. So let's cut this one open and see what's inside of it. Come on, cool stuff. Ugh. Open, open. Some of the tape rips with just a slight pull. Some of it has to basically be soldered apart. All right, a book bag. A nice book bag, actually a Dell bag, so it's probably like meant to be a laptop bag. There's something in there too. It's not a computer, but there's something in there. Down here, oh, it's in the front pocket, I guess. There's so many pockets, I don't know which one to check. In here? There it is, what is it? Ugh, I guess they're probably no longer good. They expired September 2017. About four years behind there, and a charging brick. Okay. Then we got a bag, this little divider thingy here. Is this a monkey or a cat or a, what is that, a panther? Looks like a panther to me. All right. What's in here? What are these? Business cards. Are they? Well, let's see. Is that what it is? It's exactly what it is. Oh no, these are 25% off coupons, but their business cards are in there. Is this the same company? No, this is a whole different company. How many companies do these people own? That's weird. They're like, I really want to know what happened. Like, I want to know how they went from owning multiple companies doing very well to not even being able to pay a storage unit rent. It's crazy the world to live in. Stuff moves fast, people. Is this all baby clothes? It looks like it might be. No, it's used, Dana. It? Dogs. Dogs? Dog clothes. Really? Yeah. That's a. I guess. You put the front paws through here. I, and then the butt comes I out. I never understand <laughs> the point of torturing your dog like that, but. Alright. What is this? A jar of what? Yarn. A jar of yarn. And this, lastly, improved suction. The original gypsy gripper. The handle that travels. Oh, okay. You're going to stick it to stuff and then pick it up. I guess stuff that doesn't have a handle. What is this? It looks like part of a shelf or something. And that is papers. All right, team huddle, we need to brainstorm now. That needs to come down. Me, not quite. <laughs> uh, Try. I, look, <laughs> I got this. A broom. If I break it, I'm blaming you guys watching. Just so you know, it's everyone's fault. Oh, well, there goes that. You think this is gonna work? Try. <sighs> it's not working. <clears throat> oh. Well, we got it. We got it. That's one way to do it. You got to be strategic when you do a this stuff. A lot of tape. Huh? A lot of tape. That must mean it's very good stuff, right? And it needs a lot of protecting. Ooh, this is rope. That's the troll. I look like gold. Um, what else is in here? What is this? Insulin. So definitely we've established with all the needles and glucose monitors and insulin that they were definitely diabetic. Let's cut this open. Let's see what's inside here. Ugh. More crafting, it looks like? Yep. Yep. More crafting stuff. Last drawer. What does that say? Keepsake? Yeah. 
Ooh, keepsake sounds interesting. If I can get it open, where is it even stuck at? In the back. Masks. Where's the keepsake? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well that was a troll. Try to be strategic here. All right, I need to get this box down. <laughs> Ninja reflexes. <laughs> That's how we do it. Now let's see what's in there. What are they, how do they get it that high? Like I'm usually taller Throw than just probably. about everybody. <laughs> So I can barely reach it. Well, that is another box of a lot of kitchen stuff. A rack. A lot of whisks down there. Look at that. Yeah, no, like 40. What, they have a cake business too? Cake business, jewelry business. The other one was for a lawn business. How many companies do these people own? Seriously. <laughs> this is again what we call set out at the yard sale. One dollar a piece, take what you want. This says master bedroom hats and hair, but there's no way that box is that heavy with hats and hair. If it is, it is like, a ridiculous amount. Let's see. Ooh, look at this hat. Or is this hair? Is this hat or hair? I can't tell. <clears throat> hair. All right. Now let's see what we see down here. Heads. Heads. More heads. It's like third, fourth human head we found today. Not bad for one unit. These are hair. A lot of it. There's like four or five packs of hair down there. What's in this box? Ugh. Hats. Are these all the hats? What is that? More hair? Okay, these kind of hats. The only reason I really wanted to open that one is because yesterday we found a Redskins player signed hat, autographed hat. So I was hoping maybe there'd be more of that. But no, these look like actual wear. What are these? Oh, never mind. Thought it was going to be shoes. But let's get this box out of here. So I just scooted over the family room box because I really want to get into the jewelry one. And there's another master bedroom 2018 box. I don't know why, like you said, I don't know why they put years on their master bedroom. Holy crap. This is heavy and hard, whatever it is. Whatever's in there pretty much takes up the entire box. You want to move, should I move the stand? I don't know how I'm going to do it, but. <laughs> All right. Like that. Let's see what's in this thing. Because whatever it is, literally it's like the box fits snugly around it. Because you can feel the hard edges for whatever it is. All right, let's see. Whoa. This is about to be a lot of jewelry making stuff, isn't it? So we got a design loom set right there. Maybe somebody could fill me in on what a loom set is. That feels like an empty box. Should I open it anyway? Yeah. No, it's an empty box. It's All right. This one's not empty. Let's see what's in there. This is lidocaine. All right. That's Somebody not asked quite. about that in the comments. What lidocaine? Yeah. What if you get some, if whoever asked about that and wanted to buy it, uh, email us. Look at this incomplete invitations. So let's see what's in these. If it's jewelry or crafting or what? What does it say? Direct decorative <laughs> decorative <laughs> decorative scissors. Decorative scissors and Taj's craft paper. All right. So it looks like this is gonna be a bunch of crafting stuff. Let's see, yeah, look at all these. This stuff again though is like all brand new. Look at all these stickers. What's that? Can you tell from your side? Uh, mini foil applicator. Okay. And down here, wow, yeah, look More at that. drawers and stuff are just packed. Just hordes of it too though. But remember, I can show this stuff in more detail in the Jeebus family. Yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed to our second channel, the Jeebus family, because we're going to be going into this unit a lot more. A lot, lot more. So make sure you're subscribed. But for now, let's get this box boxed up. Now we got that other master bedroom box here. Let's see what's in this guy. Can you see up here? After you, after you cut it, you can bring it down. All right. Let me at least cut it up here. It's a problem when I'm this height, and then I got to like bend down and break my back to open stuff on the floor. Well, actually, we might not need to do that. So it looks like it might be all closed. Oh no, it's definitely not all closed. All right, we're bringing it down. Let's see if I can get the shelf out the way. Let's see what's in here. Do I see boxes? Here you go. No. Come on, take it. No, you take guys it. take it. Ugh, you just smell his crotch. <laughs> uh, that. Well, let's see what's in some of these boxes. We gotta get this stuff out the way to get to. Ooh, a pair of Nikes that are in. Like Maybe. Decent shape. They're actually a bit look big too. Size 12. Three more sizes and they fit me. Oh, look at that gold. Ooh, thing. what is that? What do you think's in there? Something's in there. Well, 
TGA Friday all oh, reward card. Dang, it's supposed to be a gift card. Uh, more sewing. Thing. Yeah, more sewing. All right, not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's there. Let's see. Let's move all these socks around. Get out of my way. Ooh, what's that? What is that? Necklace. Ooh, it is a necklace. That's gold. Ooh, that's a lot of money if that's gold. But I don't see any markings on it. So I'm going to assume it's not just because of how big it is. But if it is, that's a big boy. Looks like a snake. Yeah, it does. Man, get all these. Okay, you guys got to go. Get out of my box. We got to see the stuff that's under it. There's a purse. It's empty. Yep. Let's see what's down here. DVDs, it looks like. Open, open, open. Jeez. Yeah, a bunch of DVDs there and a VHS at the bottom. Um, let's see. What's this? What is that? Another organizer. Another organizer. Folded up one. All right. Ooh, what's that? That's the question. What's in the top, you think? Dang it. Stop. Okay. New law starting now. I become mayor of the world. You cannot make makeup boxes look like jewelry boxes. They get storage unit buyers excited for no reason. New law. Goes into effect right now. Let's see what's in here. Doesn't sound like shoes to me. Oh, curlers. Meh. Let's see what else is down here. These look like a bunch of pill bottles. Are they actually? They're looks just like empty. they're empty. Yeah. It's she empty. probably used them to put a jewelry stuff in. Yeah. That's why I wanted to check it. Uh, look like bandages. Yeah, bandages and braces. And then a couple scales. So not what I was hoping for, but hey, jewelry might be gold. Starting to run out of room in the back of the truck, so we're gonna have to get some smaller things like these totes to fit in there because we ain't fitting no more big boxes on there. Let's see what's in there. Besides a nice pair of headphones. What are these? It's like a neck rash of the plane, I'm assuming. It looks like it. What do you think? The golf club cover. Oh. Doesn't it look like it could have been mistaken, is that? Yeah. Okay, I'm talking to somebody that doesn't play or never played or had any interest in golf, so I wouldn't know that. Here and now, the World Edition. So how do you play the new World Edition? Electronic banking. Ooh, do you get to go like super in debt right off the bat? Start the game, you get to go to college and get 100K in debt so that you can make 70K a year. I love it. Uh, Bear, Snoopy. Brian. <laughs> Snoopy. You made me second guess myself. <laughs> Did you realize that I hated college, by the way, guys? What a waste of time. Sorry to put my opinion in it, but yeah. Nothing else in there besides some random yard sale stuff again. I'll throw it all out and I'll charge a dollar a piece. I'm pretty sure we can see through the plastic and see this one's mostly Christmas, but let's see what it is because Christmas sells in Virginia and it's September. It's that holiday season. Got a couple jokers here, Isn't gestures. Cool? Yeah. We have a snowman stocking holder in that box. A covered butter dish here. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's like new. Look at that. Definitely good stuff. All this stuff will 100% sell. Because we sell it so cheap, it'll 100% sell fast. Definitely like a dollar a piece. This is all day money right there. It looks like some candle holders. And yes, I'm aware we sell stuff cheap. Everyone always tells us, you know how much more you can get than that for a dollar? I don't know, but. You get to help people out and you get to move stuff fast, which is the way we like to do it. So that's a Dickens Collectible Victorian series. Can you see the picture from the front? Not quite. Let me try to lift it out a little bit. So there it is. A little glass house, green roof, and it's definitely in there. You can tell by the weight. So realistically, this is probably like a $20 tote because there's a lot of little odds and ends in there that'll make a dollar a piece. Bread tote right here. I just saw a nice big spider go behind that box. All right. Great. It's waiting for us. Uh, cleaning supplies. Bounty, the quicker picker upper. I just bought sponges and look. Holy crap. Well, we're not going to need to buy sponges for a while. Nope, I'll but keep you know, if you, <laughs> if you didn't buy them, this would have dematerialized inside yes. the unit and you would have never found it. Yes. You only can find stuff once you buy it. That's the way the world works. All right, this is just a bunch of paper. We'll just use some packing paper. Let's see what they have wrapped up in this newspaper. A couple, looks like little bear figurines. The brand's on the bottom. It's Kay's Collection it's from Dollar Tree. Yeah. I'm tired of Dollar Tree. Why do they wrap up so much Dollar Tree stuff? Like, it's, they have nice stuff, but like, the point of getting paper and wrapping it up, I don't understand. Like, it's just, it's a dollar. You probably spend more to protect it than it's worth. 
Let's see what's over here. Unless it has some type of sentimental value. You never know. This could have been her great grandmother if she passed away collection to pass down. Again, they're nice to be from Dollar Tree, but you can see on their tag, case collection. It is Dollar Tree. So they're not gonna be too expensive. Well again, we'll probably lock them up. There's probably like 10 bears in there. If we sell them two for a dollar, we can get five bucks out of that tote. Let's pull out this thin tote here and see what we have in there. Cause it looks pretty random from the outside. So we'll see. I didn't even slice it, stupid knife. Did this one slice? Okay, let's see what's in there. Oh, what is that thing? What are these called? We found them before. Beanie Boo? Beanie Boo, I think you're right. The big beady eyes. Is that it right there? Where? Oh. So you cheated. No, I didn't. Yeah. No, I knew it. USB powered multimedia speakers. All right, so speakers. <laughs> Way to make it sound intense, though. Look at that. This is what the telemarketers wear when they call you and bother <laughs> you about your car warranty. Yep. So they have one. Did you know your car warranty expired? Boy, shut up. You get off the phone with me. <laughs> Does anyone else play along with those people? Like sometimes I told I told one guy I drive a horse and carriage and he got really mad at me and just started went on for like 20 minutes. I'm like, he's like, what kind of make is it? I'm saying it's a carriage. He's like, what do you mean it's a carriage? I said, it has two horses. Is this how I get to the guy? I started getting mad with him. I'm like, this is how I get to the grocery store. It's a horse and carriage. Like I feel like, like what make year YouTube is it? video. Uh, 1880. It's 1880. What? You can't read the calendar? <laughs> yeah, we should make videos about that one time. I love messing with those people. And I feel no remorse because they're just out here trying to scam everybody else, so whatever. Buttons. More jewelry. Is that all that's in here? Ooh, look at that. More jewelry and material. That's a lot. So a lot of crafting and a lot of jewelry in that tote. Now look what I can see. This box is master bedroom. That box is master bedroom. This box is I don't know what. So let's find out what's inside of these suckers next time. Make sure you subscribe and come back. Peace out.